Today we will be working on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, a beautiful device. It looks much more refined than its S20 Ultra cousin. The camera bump is well designed, sporting three aligned camera lenses. It's rare that Samsung mounts any tech on their back glass, but here we can see a tiny microphone with pressure sensitive contacts to communicate with the main board. I'll set this off to the side. There are 15 screws holding in the three part mid frame, six of which secure the wireless charging coil pad to the frame. Samsung was incredibly generous with the thread locker this time, and most screws feel almost fused to the housing. The pad attaches with two LEGO style ribbon connectors as well. With the wireless pad out of the way, disconnecting the battery is pretty important. From there I'll detach the bottom loudspeaker to uncover the charging port. Next the top mid frame which houses the ear speaker. It doubles as a second loudspeaker to give the device stereo speaker output from both top and bottom. I'll disconnect the first 5G antenna block from both the main and sub boards. There are several more LEGO style connectors that need to be unclipped. Then I can unscrew the tiny daughter board at the bottom. Oddly enough the charging port is not mounted on any kind of board. This teeny tiny PCB contains the lower microphone along with several antenna band connectors. The charging port itself is soldered only to a flexible ribbon that connects both the main and sub boards to the port, allowing for power and communication of both. After removing the two additional Phillips head screws holding the large camera assembly in place, the main logic board is free to come out. The logic board is a stacked PCB containing layers of silicon, allowing for a much smaller footprint inside the device. I'll also remove the selfie camera, this needs to be transferred over to the new housing. Next comes the square vibrate motor. The lower 5G antenna block has two silver Phillips head screws holding it in, while the upper 5G antenna has two black Phillips heads. These antenna modules are pretty cool looking, strange how some people think they are dangerous. As usual with Samsung the battery removal is a painful process of heating, adding alcohol, and careful prying to remove the large battery pack from the permanent adhesive. It's time to slip our logic board into its new housing. It's a little trickier than normal because of all the ribbon connectors. The charging port needs to be pressed with some force into the slot at the bottom to maintain some liquid resistance. The daughter board fits snugly into place. I'll drop the battery in with some firm but not so permanent adhesive. Fancy 5G antennas fit into frame. and we'll get the selfie camera reattached. The top mid frame with the loudspeaker are clipped back into place before screwing down. Then the lower mid frame and primary loudspeaker. Now the wireless charging assembly is laid back down and both Legos connected. Now just 15 screws to replace. I coat the edges of the frame with some 3M tape primer to give a secure bond to the back glass adhesive. This sleek black back glass will get pressed firmly into the frame and given a good cleaning in a moment. With the plastics pulled off and the S Pen placed back in its chamber, this device is ready to go. Thanks a ton for joining me and I'll see you next time.